I'm just going to show you how to set up the slings on your patient. You always want to make sure that your sling is over the joint or the axis that you're moving from. That's your go-to starting position because then you have a free movement and you can see this is right over the hip joint right here. On a person, it's halfway between the pubis and the ASIS, halfway a third, so around there. So what you need to do is you want to make sure this is in the right place. You can alter it by changing where your um, S-hook is on the grid. Then you want to make sure that these are kind of out of the way so your strings are your, or off the edge so they're not hitting the patient. And then get your slings ready. Sliding it underneath the thigh. Just try to make sure that you've got equal on both sides. And then on the foot. What you can do is you can do almost like a figure of eight. So it's going over the forefoot and then around the ankle. So you're getting good positioning. And again, trying to make sure that you've got equal distance. So what you want to do is just slide this down, hook it on. Just want to take off the slack, take up the slack. So you're not lifting the leg, just taking the slack off of it. So it's nicely supported. Then you're going to put on the thigh one. Again, you want to take up the slack. So you're going to put your knot close to the bottom. If I left the knot way up here, then when I lift it, I would be lifting above shoulder height and it would be hard for me. So I always want to make sure that it's low enough that it's easy for me to work with. Okay, and just taking the slack off. What you then want to do is you want to move the upper or the most proximal one over the heaviest area and you're going to flatten it out and lift up so you're taking them off the bed and then just going like this so it locks it. Then you would move to the foot and do the same thing. Part of what you don't want to do is you don't want to hyperextend the knee or, or, or hurt their knee. This isn't up high enough, their knees. And you want, this has more tension than this, so I need to ease this up a little bit. You should have the same amount of tension on both of them. And then they'll be able to easily abduct and adduct. You just want them far enough off the <clears throat> mat so they're not dragging. When you put them down, what you want to do is you want to put down the most distal part first because you don't want hyperextension of the elbow or the knee. And then you would take that off, come up to the thigh again, lower it down, unhook it so you can slide it out from underneath their thigh and then just moving it out of the way.